Well, you are back with us now. Small apology, technical problem with our link, but we're back with the Comrades Marathon. Thank goodness for that. And uh, these are the bronze medalists coming in. Afternoon, uh, quietly settling down now to a splendid afternoon here in Durban. And uh, of course, once we, we've talked all day about the size of this race, that uh, the technicality of putting this all together was quite amazing, particularly with regard to logistics. And a week or two ago, I popped up to Comrade's house and chatted to the new race director, Johan van Staden. Johan, how much pressure has these really big numbers put on the Comrade's organization? Well, effectively, we had to start with changing the route. Uh, our previous route was a little bit tight. We had to uh, cut a couple of corners so that we can make it a smooth play out of town, uh, more lighting, less chance of getting injured along the road and so on. So we made a small change to the route, uh, the route that gave us an additional 110. The bike specifically will be positions, positioned in areas where traffic flows in one direction only and access is limited, hence ensuring rapid response to these areas. There will be two NEC 91 based medical helicopters dedicated to the event for rapid evacuation of any critically ill patient. The entire fleet is controlled by an operations center situated at Sahara Kingsmead, whereby the vehicles are monitored by a tracking system, ensuring the closest vehicles are dispatched. The entire fleet is in contact to the operations center by means of radio communication. I think without a doubt, uh, the runners could be rest assured that they'll be in safe hands. State-of-the-art equipment with highly skilled paramedics and emergency personnel out there to look after every need. Hey, what a colourful day. We have had the most colourful comrades I can ever remember, Zitalele. It's a, an absolute kaleidoscope of colour. marathon. Coming up for good afternoon running here and uh, the racing time now is well into the bronze, mid bronze medals at uh, 4.30, that is uh, in just a while, something like uh, less than an hour, 55 minutes is the cutoff of these bronze medalists. So these folks were not really troubled about getting Bill Rowans, hardly any of them, any of them probably went for the Bill Rowan, quite happy to go on uh, for just uh, the safe bronze and uh, not even hassled about the finishing. So this is a, a very, very comfortable jog walk for them for the whole day and uh, these guys are out there but you know some runners put themselves through all manner of uh, hell out there one of them is evan mclean who has this habit that's a k cottrell finishing just by the way running her 20th married to tom cottrell the uh, the uh, uh, runners were the runners guide and also that's k there on the right uh, six one uh, one six oh one five so well done to kate and her training mate but even getting back to uh, guys that run in costumes evan mclean has a habit of running in costumes for charity and he's right up there now what on earth david what on earth did he run in today no, it's absolutely amazing what he's done evan is here he's run as the mascot for the sports trust now the sports trust is one of the official charities of the comrades marathon and it does the most incredible work in providing underprivileged communities with sporting equipment and uh, what evan has done is he's donned the outfit of coach and he's run the comrades and in the official brochure it says please support him as he runs past you except here's the problem evan didn't wasn't out there for too long because he got a silver medal this is one speedy runner evan what's it like running in that outfit uh, 
It was uh, a little bit uh, difficult. Um, first off, fortunately, it was uh, cooler, so I was able to um, use that. I didn't get too hot on that, but the second half, I, I found it a lot uh, more difficult, so and and I had to slow it down a bit, yes. That's the second time you've uh, run in as coach, is it? It's the second time that I've run, yes, for the Sports Trust and raised um, some uh, money for for the Sports Trust, and they're going to be putting that into uh, Quintenth uh, School for the Deaf. It's in, in Changa area. And there's about 286 children there that we're going to um, that are going to benefit from this venture. And I see the uh, Matuba Tuba community as well. They were sponsored uh, right. kit for for the race today, didn't they? That's right. Yes. But so. what kind of response do you get from uh, your fellow runners as they see you in this outfit? Uh, it, it was mixed. I think uh, the, some of them were uh, amazed that I'd, I'd done an outfit like this. The one guy I ran past and he just said, "Just said you run, brave man." <laughs> <laughs> and I think I was really going through a bad. Patch, but uh, in general, a lot of uh, encouragement, uh, especially when I needed it the most. You've done how many comrades so far? Eight? No, this is my twelfth. Your twelfth? Yes, and, and I again, it's my last. Like <laughs> you lost. You're not doing it again. No, that's what I keep saying, and I keep coming back. Oh, yes, so everybody <laughs> says that. And is it twelve comrades, twelve silver medals? No, I've missed it twice. Um, this is the fifth time that I've worn an outfit, and uh, uh, yeah, so I've, I'm happy that today was my tenth silver medal. Because here I am under the impression that if you're going to don an outfit like this, that you, which curbs your, your natural running style, and you, know, you probably can't ventilate as much, you're sweating, I'm sure, underneath that, I'm expecting you to be a bronze medalist. But the fact that you can do this and still get a silver, you must be one mean machine, Evan. I've trained a lot harder this year, and it should have a few kilograms to get there. Um, so, yeah, I was ready for this race. Uh, the, the heat did play an factor, but uh, I seem to manage that by just keeping the, the outfit uh, wet and which uh, acts as a cooling agent. I bet you're one of the few runners who actually hopes that it is a cool day for the entire race. Oh, I was hoping a week ago, <laughs> two weeks ago, I was checking the weather report out already and it, and it looked good. And it is a lot cooler than it was last year. So. What was your time, by the way? 7.22. I went through halfway in 3.20 and um, so I thought I could still sneak under the seven hour mark but uh, by 30 k's uh, I was feeling a little bit nauseous and I, I wasn't able to drink for the rest of the race so I knew that I had to slow it down otherwise being be silly so I had the time to play with and I used it. Yeah absolutely still in time for a silver. What's your best time for comrades? Uh, I ran a 6.17 in 99. Oh my goodness so this does slow you down doesn't it? <laughs> no, can, 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 can I say the reason why you got uh, there's almost an hour's difference is because you're running in the costume would that be fair uh, and age it's, uh, it's it's 11 years later down the line and um i'm yeah work-wise and that uh, i don't put in as much as what i did in, in my youth did you approach sports trust or they come to you how did it work um sure no falling back on the memory um yeah i'd run three times and then last year they approached me and i was I, just accepted. I mean, it's one of those things you, I, I enjoy doing it and when, when I ran past the kids cheering me on the side of the road then it just it's all worthwhile. Yeah. Fantastic. It's great. Well Evan you've done a great job. The Sports Trust is a wonderful organisation and uh, I know that they're very proud of you for having done what you've done. Oh, I think you're quite pleasure. phenomenal quite frankly. <laughs> uh, as I said I was expecting a, a man in a costume to get a bronze medal not a silver medal. <laughs> so well done to you. Thank you. Thanks so much. That's uh, Evan McLean running as coach the mascot of the Sports Trust. Let's go back to the Comrades Marathon and our commentators. Well, I was absolutely delighted to, to see uh, just a minute or two ago in shot, running in the yellow colours of Varsity Kudus with a beard, my old buddy, Professor Neil Koval from uh, Wits University. And he's really been out there running for a long time, but he hasn't run Comrades for ages. He's not in shot now, but well done to Neil Koval for coming through. And uh, he looked a little bit tired, but Neil has been around running since I was at Wits in the late 1960s. So Neil, uh, the professor of chemistry at Twitch University, still out there doing it for the uh, for the uh, for the varsity kudos. Well, each year, hundreds of runners.